Aita for bringing my daughter to a child-free wedding? Hi everyone! I'm a 19-year-old mom to my beautiful 2-year-old daughter, Amelia. Just a bit of backstory. Last year, I was asked to be a bridesmaid in a family friend's wedding. I was thrilled and immediately said yes, even though it was a child-free event. I had arranged for a babysitter, but about a week before the wedding, she informed me that she would no longer be in the city and couldn't watch my daughter. Given the short notice, I approached the bride and asked if I could bring Amelia to the wedding, as I didn't have time to find another trusted babysitter. My daughter is overall a very easygoing baby. She's comfortable with people and happy as long as she's fed. The bride knew this since she'd watched my daughter on multiple occasions before and she happily agreed, saying that having Amelia there would make the wedding photos even more special. The wedding was going smoothly, though I noticed a few stares from the groom's parents. Amelia stayed with my sisters for most of the day, but during the reception, I took her with me to congratulate the couple. As I approached with Amelia in my arms, the groom's mother suddenly commented, You shouldn't have brought a baby to a child-free wedding, especially when she doesn't fit the family. I was completely taken aback. For context, my daughter is mixed. I'm half white and half Hispanic, and her father is black. I've been called whitewashed because I'm not in contact with my Hispanic family. So I knew exactly what she meant by saying my daughter didn't fit the family. The bride looked shocked, and the groom immediately stood up and led his parents away. Taking this as my cue, I decided it was time to leave. I made the rounds to say goodbye to everyone and put Amelia in her stroller. As I was leaving, the bride came over to apologize for her in-law's behavior. I was upset, but I knew it wasn't her fault, so I simply wished her luck and left. Now, about a week after the wedding, I got tagged in a Facebook post. Strange. Because I don't use Facebook. The post read, I'm outraged that my grandchildren weren't allowed at this event, but when a teen mother who couldn't be responsible enough to leave her child with the father brings her baby, uh, it's perfectly fine. The post was from the groom's mother. To make things worse, she's also been telling family members that I'm lying about what she said regarding my daughter's appearance. So now I'm wondering, am I the asshole? Update. Hi again, everyone. I first want to start off with a huge thank you for all the advice and reassurance. That said, before I go into this post, I've seen a few racist comments towards my daughter and remarks about my age and how I ruined my life. I am extremely happy and so is my daughter. She is beautiful and it is terrible that people in this world will take their self-hate out on a two-year-old. Anyways, I wanted to give an update and clarify a few things after read on the feedback I received. First off, I do have a Facebook account, but I don't use it often. I only found out about the post because someone sent it to me on messages, which is how I saw the groom's mother's comments. Regarding Amelia's father, he couldn't take her that weekend because he lives a bit farther away and struggles when plans change last minute, especially when it's not his scheduled days to have her. On top of that, my family members who I would trust to watch Amelia were all attending the wedding, so there weren't many other options. Now, some of you mentioned I could have dropped out of the wedding, and I want to address that. Dropping out of the bridal party was actually the first option I presented to the bride when I realized I couldn't find a new babysitter. I didn't want to complicate her big day. However, she didn't want me to drop out and reassured me that it would be fine to bring Amelia. So while bringing my daughter was the second option, the bride did have the choice of me stepping down if she had preferred that. Yesterday, I spoke with the bride again, and she told me that she explained everything to her MIL, making it clear that it wasn't my fault Amelia was there. It was a decision made between her and her husband. She also revealed the real reason behind the child-free rule. It wasn't directed at all kids. The bride had been trying to avoid having her mother-in-law's grandchildren there because they had been nightmares at other events, as described by the bride herself. The bride didn't want to cause any more drama by openly sharing that reason, so she kept it under the radar. I feel a lot better knowing that my friend still supports my decision, and I'm relieved that the real issue wasn't about me or Amelia. While I'll definitely be more cautious with similar situations in the future, I'm glad I prioritized Amelia's safety and well-being. Thanks again to everyone who shared their thoughts. I truly appreciate it. Monarch of Donuts said, Oh, NTA. I opened this thinking I might vote differently. It's not cool to just swan into a child-free wedding with a kid, but you had responsibly made arrangements that fell through. Then correctly asked for permission to bring your daughter. That permission was generously given by the bride. It was not the groom's mother's place to decide who could and could not attend, given the nasty things she said on that day and the drama she's so determined to stir up online. It is very obvious that the groom's mom is TA in this situation. You did your best in a rough situation. She, on the other hand, only seems able to do her worst. Ambidioso said, NT8, sounds like the groom's mother was upset by the no kids policy and wrongly took it out on you. It also sounds like the groom's mother is a dim-witted racist dingus. 
Duke 113 said NTA. Bride said it was okay. And Groom apparently agreed based on the fact he took his parents out of the situation. Those are the only two people who get a say.